cherry trees in bloom, mile after mile of them throughout California's rich Santa Clara and San Joaquin Valleys. Blossoms of delicate hue announcing a new crop of succulent fruit. Vast orchards immaculate as park supply a harvest to be enjoyed by families all over America. Here too in California are seemingly countless rows of peach trees. Every spring, the fertile valleys of Sacramento and San Joaquin fill with the aroma of myriad blossoms. The rainbow harvest. Peaches and pears by the millions, destined to become partners in the most delicious food creation, the new Dole Fruit Cocktail. Thanks to agricultural science and modern fruit packing methods, all of us can enjoy nature's bounty. A blossoming pear orchard is beautiful indeed, but one this size requires endless labor. On California's huge fruit ranches, trees are made at regular intervals to ensure that fruit will ripen into worthy ingredients for the new cocktail product. World famous are the vineyards of the lower San Joaquin. Here, literally billions of choice Thompson seedless grapes slowly mature to full goodness, soon to add their piquancy to a luscious taste creation. Every vine growing grapes for Dole fruit cocktail is girdled in this manner to retain sap in the grapes, thereby making them larger. Yes, old Mother Nature constantly is being taught new tricks. For these grapes must be glorified to keep company with the cherries, peaches, and pears. For all of them, and from Hawaii, will later be combined for the sake of good taste. Only the finest grapes will do. Needless to say, the same is true of cherries. These certainly look as though they'll make the grade, but from the tree to the cannery, they undergo a series of inspections worthy of the FBI. Cherries are last to bloom and first to ripen. Here in an orchard being harvested for the Baron Gray Division of the Hawaiian Pineapple Company, the picking procedure hasn't undergone many radical changes, but scientific growing methods greatly improve for quality. In every orchard, a dole inspector makes sure that fruit is picked and loaded without bruising. This same close attention is given all ingredients of the dole fruit cocktail. We pick pears only at their peak of goodness, and this ring test guarantees desired size. Pears are still firm and fully ripened scientifically at the canning plant exactly when required. Here, as elsewhere, Dame Nature is persuaded to dance to the dole tune. Down again on terra firma, each pear picker carefully transfers the fruit to a box, making another check in the process and arranging it to ensure minimum damage on the short trip to the cannery. Similar care is given each type of fruit used in the company products throughout all growing and handling operations. Before each truckload leaves the orchard, a company inspector selects several boxes at random and thoroughly checks the pears, which, like the other fruit of this rainbow harvest, must be absolutely number one grade. In this way, a cross-section test is made. The orchard superintendent and aide work closely together. Pears with imperfections of any kind are immediately refused. The percentage of rejects in sample boxes determines the percentage rejected in the entire load. This king-size trailer carries enough fruit to satisfy the pear yen of an entire community for years. The truck's about ready to take off for a receiving station where the pears will undergo a cold storage treatment and then roll on to ripening rooms. It's a highly involved procedure, scheduling the shipments of fruit to arrive just on time. A dole inspector, accompanied by the orchard supervisor, reports the shipment to the factory. Yes, right from his car, for it's equipped with a telephone, permitting communication wherever he may be. But Dole Tranquil Hawaiian Islands is perhaps even more modern. When the king of fruits is ready to be picked, giant harvesting machines move through the vast plantations. Hawaiian pineapple is acknowledged the finest. 
These are fully ripe, although not all of golden hue, since there is a wide range of color in shells of fruit bound for the world's largest pineapple cannery in Honolulu. Back then, the grapes of San Joaquin Valley, if not real, certainly are courtiers. With veritable armies of pickers, billions of such grapes are destined to join ranks with the pineapple tidbits and other luscious fruit in Dole cocktail. We select only the finest grapes, and through the magic of modern canning methods, the fresh, natural flavor of these grapes is preserved for gourmets everywhere. Early in August, four months after the peach trees bloomed, the pickers moved through the orchards carrying their ever-present rings. Every peach chosen for Dole Fruit cocktail must be perfectly round, deliciously sweet. The extra large size of these peaches is another proof of continuous care. When the fruit first sets on the trees, field men go through the orchards, removing all undersized fruit, leaving six to eight inches of space between the remaining choice peaches, ample room for them to grow big and more succulent. But even so, only the huskiest make the grade. Our friend goes about his work with commendable care, sorting and arranging the fruit. Again with peaches, dole experts remove sample boxes from the truckload for field inspection. Undersized fruit that somehow managed to sneak through the ring test is shunted aside. In doubtful cases, the ceremony is repeated. Looks as though someone was working with the wrong size ring. Well, out you go. Since five different kinds of fruit will be canned at the same time, all must arrive at the canning machines exactly when needed. Here in the modern San Jose, California packing plant, Dole's new fruit cocktail is being created to give a new taste thrill to all America. In from the receiving stations roll battalions of trucks, tons and tons of fruit, cherries, grapes, peaches, and drive great loads of golden Hawaiian pineapple, all part of nature's... There's quite a traffic problem getting all the trucks unloaded, but those efficient little carriers dig in at the endless job and start the boxes on skyward jaunts via escalators. Here's a neat trick. The boxes are mechanically tilted and jiggled and out rolls the fruit. As the empty boxes move on, the peaches are automatically graded for size. As the perfect peaches march on, they fall into the hands, or rather the rubber gloves, of these experts. Skillfully placed on knife blades, which start the tear just right to ensure perfect halves, the peaches ride onward and upward to new adventures. Picked up by holder cups, they are introduced to a revolving blade, which cuts peaches and pits into equal halves. Riding on to the top of the machine, pits are ejected and peaches fall onto a conveyor belt. Parading on in golden splendor, they're thoroughly washed and with bright shining faces greet these eagle-eyed ladies at the sorting tables who discard all peaches with the slightest imperfections. Fruit that doesn't pass this highly demanding inspection is placed in drums and carried away to oblivion. For all of these experts are determined not to let a single imperfect peach escape their scrutiny. If you especially favor this fruit, here's a spectacle you'll never forget. Enough peaches it appears to feed the whole world, not to mention inhabitants of a few other planets if they happen to like peaches. After a scientific peeling, we give them a shower bath and send them jiggling on for final inspection. Again, we sort them for bruises, sidetracking defectives, and trimming or pitting them by hand. Dole also processes millions of pears here each week. Those meeting requirements march on to grading machines, which properly segregate them by size to fit processing devices. New methods of handling fruit more safely and efficiently are constantly being developed by the company. Samples from each shipment undergo an unusual ordeal.
This test indicates the pear's firmness and that needs or retards Dame Nature's normal process to fit in with canning schedules. The pears, now at the peak of perfect ripeness, move on to the processing machines manned by experts. These skilled workers will prepare the rich golden-hued beauties for their debut in Fruit Cocktail Society. The pears are placed in rotating claws, which grasp them firmly, while a knife cuts off stems. This elaborate gadget is worth watching closely. Next, a mechanical hand lifts them over to a knife, which cuts each pear neatly in half and drops the halves in holder cups. A cutter adjusted to the size of the pears slices away the peel with minimum waste. Another part of this remarkable machine removes each core and inner stem with a spoon and sends the pears on to the trimming. Finally, the ingenious Ewald machine flips the peelings gracefully out on their backs. After the mechanical marvel completes its work, all the merely human inspectors have to do is remove any imperfections. The choice pears are again washed and conveyed up to dicing machines. Advancing shakily, undersized pears are dropped from competition through screens. Those passing the test move on triumphantly, are shunted past rows of inspectors, taken to the dicers. Here, peaches and pears are cut into precise shapes as a plunger pushes them through a frame. These pear bits are washed and shaken while undersized bits fall through the mesh. Meanwhile, huge contingents of grapes have entered the plant. They are transferred to escalators, which carry them up for stemming, grading, washing, and inspection. Everywhere in this plant of the Barrington, inspection and handling is hygienic as modern science. This highly ingenious machine removes stems from grapes while cleaning them without rough handling the fruit. Any stems or leaves that manage to get by are removed by hand on the sorting tables, running the gauntlet of experts who remove short stems and any fruit not up to the exacting standard. Finally, the grapes take a ride on a super jiggler which sorts them by size. And they roll on, shaking all the way, to be evenly distributed in stainless steel cans, moving steadily up to the cocktail line. So, with all four types of California fruit being beautified for their get-together, let's see how their cocktail mate, His Highness King Pineapple, is faring. Over in Honolulu, tons and tons of the fruit roll into the giant dole cannery and tumble onto automatic graders. Passing in review before inspectors, native Hawaiians, they move up to batteries of highly versatile machines known as Janakas. Developed by company engineers, these amazing machines have revolutionized pineapple processing. The Janakas deftly remove outer shells and cores, ejecting fruit in cylindrical form to fit the cans, all with machine gun efficiency. Behind hygienic glass walls, Rows of experts wearing rubber gloves trim away any imperfections as the golden fruit advances in endless streams. Pineapple tidbits emerge from the end of the line. The king of fruits adds the crowning touch, new fruit cocktail. Now let's hop back to California for incorporation for Here in the San Jose plant, the five kinds of flea introduced in mixed company. This is the culmination of careful organization and meticulous planning. Perfect peach and pear segments already combined now ride to meet their future associates, bouncing along to get better acquainted as they go.
Next in line are the seedless grapes of San Joaquin. Beyond them are golden pineapple visitors from Hawaii and brilliant red cherries. They've really undergone a beauty treatment. These are the first to be packed in cans, then pineapple, grapes, and finally diced pears and peaches, all in proper proportions. They're beautiful to look at, and their beauty certainly isn't only skin deep. The cans parade by revolving fillers of each fruit. Attendants ration it in little cups at the bottom of each machine, which drop correct portions into cans. This is just one of many careful tests. Each sample is weighed for no customer appreciates short and will give sample actually count and weigh the pieces of fruit of each kind. With this information, skilled technicians determine any necessary adjustments of the intricate packing machines. The Dole trademark always has stood for top quality pineapple products. Inspection methods of the new fruit cocktail are equally precise. In this photogenic operation, the filled cans make their way toward a machine that adds just the right amount of syrup. The cans move ahead in a stately snake dance. As they proceed, a chemist takes samples of the syrup, carefully testing it and recording his findings. The parade continues to an automatic unit which eliminates all air from the cans. Now we seal them under vacuum, ensuring absolute freshness and lasting flavor. The cans then pass through a high-speed continuous sterilizer. Here at a high temperature, the product is sterilized, then cooled in another unit and conveyed to the labeling room. In the extensive plant laboratories, sample cans from each completed run undergo a series of final tests. This can is being given a vacuum test, guaranteeing that there are no leaks and assuring quality protection. To double check production line inspection, sample cans of fruit cocktail are carefully weighed. Net weight must be up to label specifications. Now syrup and fruit are separated. The syrup poured in the glass tube and the fruit alone weighed to make certain once more that the proper amount has been packed. Hydrometer test for clarity and proper sugar content. Test completed, the fruit and syrup are recombined. Color and particle sizes are checked. And finally, the simplest and most important analysis of all, the good old fashioned taste test. The most modern production methods in the world mean very little if the product fails to satisfy. This expert's highly educated palate pronounces the final verdict, pass with the highest honors. The final product must meet the highest standard, the Dole standard. From the cannery via the shelves of thousands of grocery stores, the new product is going into homes everywhere to create appetite to dishes. Here's one example. Having drained this fruit and thickened it with plain jello, this is housewife the empty can. Nothing very complicated about this, is there? she places it in the refrigerator until the salad is firm. Later she removes it and here it is. A solid cylinder mixed goodness. It's easily sliced into individual portions. How does this suit your fancy? Served on crisp lettuce leaves, salad greens, with a top knot of mayonnaise and a dash of a taste delight.
fruit cocktail refrigerator pie with cornflake crust, mounds of sweetened whipped cream, or possibly you prefer a fruit cocktail gelatin ring like this neat little number. Just as simple to prepare as a delectable fruit cocktail mold made with lemon gelatin. For a hungry youngster just back from school, Dole Fruit Cocktail provides a mighty tasty snack. Just as it comes from the can, it's perfect for any time of day, any kind of meal, and requires no duration. Children love its blend of flavors, and fruit cocktail is just plain old good for them. No longer need you practically turn the kitchen upside down to make topsy-turvy cake. With drained fruit cocktails spread over a base of melted butter and brown sugar, and are over the fruit, the cake is baked at a moderate temperature for about an hour. The pan is removed, and behold, a veritable masterpiece achieved with minimum effort. Just think, girls, how you'll impress the man in your life. Somewhat less ambitious, but still mighty tasty, are puddings topped with fruit cocktail. Coffee Marlowe, vanilla, and tapioca. They'll keep you in the social world with plenty of time. Of course, for even more swank affairs, parfaits like these will brighten any menu. Throughout the day, from breakfast on, the new Dole Fruit Cocktail is tops in taste appeal and ease of serving. For the simplest luncheon or the most formal dinner, it provides a new and exciting taste thrill. Gathered at their peak of goodness from nature's rainbow harvest, the choicest fruit of California and Hawaii give their luscious flavor to a perfect taste. Dole Fruit Cocktail, carrying this famous hallmark of quality into homes all over America.